Hi guys, Aka here. Wow, this Mayan event has been a brain cracking one. So much trial and error, but I was finally able to crack 10K. Let's go in and I'll show you quickly what my score is right now. Right now, I'm second on my server with over 10K. Breaking 10K on the Mayan event can be a bit tough simply because of the level of randomness involved in the event. But what we're going to do here, I'm going to give you some tips to make breaking 10K a bit easier for you. The first thing we're going to talk about, your generals. Simply pick your best five generals that you have. The gear on the generals doesn't matter. Dragons doesn't matter. Only the basic attributes, skill books, specialties, and ascension matters. So pick your best five. In terms of troops, what I've seen that works is Siege. I've tried Cavs, I've tried Range, I've tried a mix. Pure Siege gave me the best outcome. So I would advise you take Pure Siege for all your generals. In terms of buffs, at the beginning, you want the Logistic Supply buff. That's the best one to start off with. But after that, you definitely want to get the Triple Lines buff. In my opinion, you absolutely need this buff if you're going to succeed in breaking 10k. What I'd say, after level 6, if you haven't gotten the 3 lines buff yet, just reset and start from the beginning. You need to make sure that you get that buff early. Other buffs that are nice to get along the way, the Suppression buff, March Size buff, and on that note, when you're picking your generals, it also helps if your generals have March size books on them. It makes things just a little bit easier. Those are pretty much all the things that you need to focus on when you're setting up and as you go along. In terms of playing, a few things you need to keep in mind. The amount of troops that you have at the end of each battle affects your points. So if you're going to do any healing, do it after you've killed all the monsters. If you have any live stream in the level that you're playing, make sure you use it after you've cleared all the monsters there. It's actually very important. On that note, be sure to save up all your healing runes for the later stages. You want to make sure that you have as many of those healing runes as you can when you get to level 18, 19 and 20. By the time you get to level 19 and you kill the Mayan priest, you want to make sure that you're able to clear as many of those Mayan guards as possible. If you have any of the items to kill those guards, you want to use them here. You try your best to kill as many of them as you can. If you have the field hospital buff, that would help. If you have the siege buff that gives you 30% chance to kill the monsters that will help a lot as well so you just want to make sure that you can clear as many of them as you possibly can finally if you want to know that you can clear the 10k mark once you're getting into stage 20 you need to be above 5000 points if you are above 5000 points you have a good shot of clearing it in the recording that i have here this is where I got the score that I have right now. And once I entered level 20, I had 5,300 points. That's just for you to use as a benchmark. As I said, there's a lot of randomness and luck involved in breaking 10K. One other important thing for you to keep in mind, if you come across any of those poison towers, do not destroy them. If you have the item to destroy those towers, do not destroy them. You need to make sure that you occupy those towers and get as many points from them as possible. As a matter of fact, on your way to clearing the Mayan event, the more of those poison towers you encounter, the better it's going to be for you at the end. And like I said, make sure you save up as many of your healing runes as possible for the last few stages. And if you do that, you'll be in a good position to clear 10k. If you have any other advice, 
and tips that could help anyone watching this video, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.